Okay, here at the 2013 Palos Verdes Invitational with Caroline Petrick from Malibu High School. Caroline, very, very good performance today. Again, a very good race, very strong start to your season. You. This course, even with only two miles, it's known as a very tough course. What are your thoughts on the course first off? It was very hot, very dusty, and Agony Hill was horrible. It was like, <laughs> I saw people crawling on all fours in the beginning, and I was like, oh, it's really not that bad. It, it is that bad. <laughs> Now this race also very unique in that it has, you know, number one, number two from each school, and also it's co-ed in a sense. So yeah. you had boys in your race. Were you able to work off some of those boys as well? Yeah, definitely. Like uh, my teammate Alec Lomofsky was in my race also, and it was really cool to like warm up with him and then get in the race with him because it's something that you'll never get to do ever again, you know. Right. And it's cool to like to run with other boys and other girls from other schools that are all the top runner and they're all just like you are. It's really right. a really cool experience. Last year you had a very successful season, both cross country and track and field. Thank you. Yet it looks like you're much, even more fit and seemingly more focused and out very well your first month. How did the summer go for you training wise as far as your base training goes? Um, well, after track I took a two week break, I just didn't run at all. And then I kind of like eased my way into it and ran twice a week, ran three days a week. I really got back into swimming and just getting that cardio workout back in. I did junior lifeguards also over the summer, so I had a lot of running training and soft sand and everything like that. And then once August rolled around, it got into more like doing the trails and the track workouts and things like that. So, junior right now, you're junior in high school, five different coaches in your fifth season of high school and you're also successful in water polo which i think you're not doing anymore and also swimming with all these different opportunities it seems like you're also you're hooked on running now what's drawn you to be even more focused be even more committed in running um I really like running. I think running, it's kind of, it's this weird thing because no one really, when you tell them, oh, I love to run, they think you're crazy because running is really painful. But to me, it's like when you go out and you run, it's like this freeing feeling. You just feel so great. And it's like, it's something that like, I love swimming and I love playing water polo, but running is just like, it's this amazing feeling. It feels so good. And I love it. Right. Week one, Marissa Williams in your race, second to her, and she's obviously very, everyone knows about her. Same thing with Sarah Baxter over at Woodbridge. I mean, you've had some of the best people and you've been hanging with them. What's that for your confidence and what's your big goal for this season? Um, I think it's really a very interesting thing to run with very, very fast people because you can see them go out and watch them race and say, okay, well, maybe that's not exactly how I'm going to go out, but maybe I'll try to like watch their ponytail or something, you know? And um, I think my goal for this season is I want to get my team to as far as they can in CIF, but individually I'm looking hopefully to go replicate what I did last year and go to state and go to Foot Locker Regionals. And if I can, cross your fingers, go to Foot Locker Nationals, that would be awesome. Awesome. Okay. Hey, great season so far. Congratulations. Another victory here at the number one race at the Palace Race Invitational. Caroline Petrick from Malibu High School.